Hi everyone! As a marketing agency where we are the most brands are wondering which social media platform will work best for their business. And today in our peer with Cerise, Sophie, our social marketing manager and I discuss the rich selection of social media platforms available on the market, their specifics and differences. Thanks for having me, Valeria. Sophie, can you advise what brands should keep in mind when choosing a social media platform for their marketing efforts? Yeah. So first of all, being present on social media is key activity. It's so important nowadays because people spend hours and hours on the platforms. They use it sometimes as Google. They are looking for reviews. They are looking for customer service or maybe a relationship to the brand. So before choosing which platforms you should be on and how many, you should have in mind that it depends on what type of business you are and what intended audience you are targeting. So you should ask yourself these following questions. Who are your audience? Like what's the age? What's your gender? Um, and the second one is can, how can you reach them? Are you using pictures? Are you using videos only? And so on. And three, what are your goals? Is it awareness? Is it uh, creating a relationship to the clients or, or customers? Or is it conversions and leads? How do we choose social media platforms for our clients in Media Group? One of the things we do when we start with a client is, of course, do a competitor uh, analysis on them. We search for new platforms, watch matching their main audience. We have a talk with them about um, what they are open for, of course, and then we push them a bit, maybe, if we see some better results on other platforms. I'm sure that all brands are eager to know what is the best platform for generating leads and sales. Can you give away that secret? I would say you should choose the platform that's possible to generate leads easy. You should choose the platform that is easy to get customers to buy from. So let's say that you sell a product to young people, then I wouldn't choose LinkedIn or Twitter because that's very text-based, but uh, I would maybe choose Meta or TikTok to sell the products uh, because we have the video here, we have the images where they can see the actual product. You should dig into what kind of pros and cons the pl each platform has um, and what matches with your audience. I would say the most important thing here is to be open for the platform, test, 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 always test, follow trends and be more out there than you maybe think you should be as a brand. Because it's not always matching your audience 100%, but you will be surprised of the results. Some of the platform requires hard work, but be on multiple platforms requires even harder work, but it's worth it to be a more omnichannel marketing approach and it will improve your brand awareness and in the end your results and the revenue. What differences do we observe when working for our global clients? Could you perhaps share some specific examples? Yeah, the thing is here that social media platforms change and develops often. So with that being said, we recommend to try different kinds of platforms um, that they might not have thought of. So it could be a specific example would be a client of ours who is a 3D scanning company, which is present on TikTok. Uh, they collected more than 350,000 clicks and more than 4 million impressions under 30 days. Or it could be our global uh, robot company who's having um, a campaign on Meta collecting B2B leads. Thank you, Sophie, for joining me and sharing your expertise on social media platforms. And to delve deeper into this topic, be sure to read our new article full of insights and useful uh, tips. And you can find a link in the description. Thank you for your time, Valeria. And if you as a company are in doubt of which social media platforms you should be on, you can always contact us.